Hello and welcome to a Narrow 100s tutorial. This tutorial is separated into two parts. In this part of the tutorial, you'll learn how to use drivers in Blender. Drivers allow you to control an object's transformation such as grab, rotate and scale by using another object's transformation. So let's get started. This is a car I have modeled in the last month and I want to animate it driving. So, in order to do that, we have to parent the, f the wheels to the car. So, select the four wheels and the car and hit Ctrl P. And there we go. Now, the, w the wheels are parented to the car. But as you can see, they are not turning according to the movement of the car like in a real car, they are just moving. So in this case we can add a driver to the wheel's rotation. As you can see the wheel is turning on the x-axis. So we'll add the driver to the x value of the rotation of the wheel right here. So right click on this value and hit um, add single driver if you if you click add drivers it will add a driver to each value of the rotation and we don't want that we want just a driver for the x value good now open a new window in blender and switch it to the graph editor. Switch the mode from F curve the editor to drivers. Make sure you select your driver and hit N. If you can't see the toolbar we just opened, just increase the size of the window or make it full screen by hitting Ctrl plus up a row. So uh, change the type of the driver from scripted expression to uh, averaged value. Don't mind the error, it will be fixed right now. Um, we have to select the uh, controlling object for the driver. So in this case it's the car. So check what's the name of your controlling object right here next to the frame number go back to the wheel and choose it from the list now you have to select the axis you want to affect the rotation of the wheel for example here as you can see if we move the car on the y-axis we want the wheel to rotate so back to the wheel and select here uh, Y location and I recommend to change the space from world space to local space and there we go now if we move the car on the Y axis the wheel will turn according to the movement but in the opposite direction. This is not a problem. Go back to the wheel, go down here and this value we want to change from 1 to minus 1. Note that if you set it to below minus 1 or above 1 it will rotate faster but these are the values we need right now. So now it rotates in the right direction, as you can see. Instead of doing the recent actions three times again on each wheel, we can duplicate this wheel three times and relocate it three times.
now all the wheels are turning in the correct way if we move the car on the y-axis so this is the end of the first part of the tutorial in the next part you'll learn how to create a basic rig for the car so see you in the next part